Hi, this is Mark from DSLR Pros and welcome to Release Notes, where we talk about the latest hardware, software, and firmware updates in the commercial drone industry. Today, I get to tell you a little bit about firmware version 2.11, which was recently released for the DJI Matrice 300. The first feature we're going to take a look at is the new custom folders feature. With this feature, you can create folders on the fly to sort out your data in real time. In this clip, you can see I'm able to create a new folder by clicking on the camera menu icon, the toolbar, and then pressing create folder. This means when I bring that data back home, it's already sorted out, saving me time in post. The next feature we're going to take a look at has to do with the H20T's ability to see thermal and optical side by side. In the previous firmware versions, the thermal image was paired with the wide optical image. With this new firmware update, now the thermal image is paired with the zoom camera. This allows you to see a hotspot with a thermal camera and then zoom in on it with the optical camera to identify what you're looking at. This will make your inspections quicker or your search and rescue missions more effective. We all know you're not supposed to point your thermal camera directly at the sun because you can risk damaging the sensor. But even still, this can happen accidentally. So DJI has introduced a new firmware update feature to help protect the sensor if it detects strong sunlight. When this feature is turned on, the infrared shutter will automatically be closed when strong sunlight is detected to help protect your investment. With previous firmware versions, the laser range finder was always stuck on. Even if you turned it off, it was only just changing the display in the Pilot app. With the new firmware update, when you turn it off, it actually turns off the laser range finder entirely, making the drone even more discreet at night. The next feature improvement has to do with a three propeller emergency landing. Per DJI, they've improved the controllability of the aircraft in the unlikely event it enters into a three propeller emergency landing. If you have a propeller failure or a motor failure, the drone can be controlled using only three of the four propellers. This feature is so important because in the unlikely event of propeller or motor failure, it'll help you minimize the amount of risk to people, property, or the drone. The next feature we're gonna take a look at has to do with the zoom lens on the H20T. Now if you press the confirm button and use the right scroll wheel, you have the ability to adjust the amount of zoom. This makes it easier to zoom because you don't have to go into the app and start adjusting. You can use the buttons on the remote controller. Next, we're taking a look at some of the improvements made to the smart tracking feature. In the past, if you were tracking a car and another car passed by, it was possible for the track assist to lose the target. Now DJI has improved this feature, making that less likely. The Matrice 300 has the ability to drop a pinpoint using the laser range finder or map view. Now, once a pinpoint has been dropped, you can press the look at button in the upper left of the DJI Pilot app, and the drone will automatically change its direction and face right at the pinpoint. For example, if you notice a hotspot or a person, but you want to continue your search, you can drop a pin on that initial subject, continue your search, and then when you're ready, press the look at function button and the drone will automatically look back at that initial subject. That means that once you've found your target, you're less likely to lose track of them. The next new feature we're taking a look at is Addy Mode. This feature allows you to disable all of the onboard sensors except for the barometer, so that way the drone flies completely unassisted. This feature can be good in the unlikely event the drone experiences electromagnetic interference and you want to disable any of the onboard sensors like the GPS. All right, that's going to wrap up this episode of DSLR Pro's release notes. If you have any questions, leave us a comment, email sales at DSLR Pro's, or give us a call. Thank you for tuning in.